Randy, honey, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Listen, I just got home and I got a few bags of groceries to bring in here. And yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and, and, yeah, but, oh, yeah I, I just about dropped the phone there. I'll let her know. But like I said, I'm sure it's fine. I'll have her call you back later. You, you take care. <sighs> Lori, hun. Sugar bean, I got my hands full out here. Could you open the kitchen door? Lori. Go on, Annex. Open it. Lori. Finally. You know, for dinner I was thinking we could... Oh my God. Lori. Huh. Hello, Dr. Riojas. So nice of you to join us. Your wife here has been telling me all about your recent activity. Isn't that right, Lori? <laughs> Aspen? What? What's going on? You! I'm gonna... You stay away from her! I, 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 oh, no, no, no. You'll stay over there. And you'll tell me everything you know. And then we'll see what happens to Lori. Do you feel like being cooperative? Lori! Oh, God! Fine! What do you want to know? Oh, Aspen. You've got it all backwards, as usual. This discussion will be far more fruitful if we begin with your questions. Mine? Oh, yes. My associate and I agreed. This was the best strategy. <laughs> what are you up to? Aspen, please. You're far too perceptive for us to get anything past you this close up, here at your own kitchen table. So the best way to go about it is to crack open that skull of yours and have a look around. So spill it. What's on your mind, Doctor? And then you let her go. We have a few items on the agenda for today. Please. But I promise nothing bad will happen to your wife as long as you're cooperative. Now, what do you know? And what are you still trying to figure out? May I sit down? Of course. It's your home. Annex. Stay close. Mm. Pen? I got you. I'm here. Hands on <laughs> your side of the table, Doctor. And get talking. I've, I've done enough research to know this is happening all over the world. This thing, this benefit equilibrium... Benefit equilibrium. That's right. That's what you've been calling it. How quaint. Hmm. Let's just say I'm pretty confident about my numbers. What is it anyway? Why are we paired up like this? Do you have one? Do I have one? Really, Dr. Rio has. One thing at a time. Prioritize your questions. We don't have all day. <sighs> Fine. Do I have one? Yes. Do you? Yes. Do you know who yours is? <sighs> Do you? I don't need to. Yeah, I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. How is it you work for the board and you don't know who your own... who you're paired up with? Give me a break, Carol. Well, you've heard of the investiture, I take it. Mm -hmm. A key component of the procedure is a block that prevents us from even desiring to find our own corollary. Corollary. That's what it's called. Yes. Mm. I'm surprised your angelic friend didn't spill the beans on that one. Any other questions? Well, does everyone have one of these corollaries? Everyone on Earth? That I can't answer. You don't know? 
or I don't have the clearance anymore to decide whether or not you get to hear the answer to that particular question. Well, most people have them. That I know. Oh, I suppose you've run your own numbers. They speak for themselves, don't they? How clever of you to have acquired those. However, did you get them? <laughs> I may have found my way into certain data banks. Hmm, Dinah helped you with that, did she? No, that was all me. Ah, yes, there it is. There what is? Did you see it, Annex? Hmm, that little flash of bravado in her eyes. A vestige of the good old days back at Langley, Doctor. Is that why you're so jumpy around guns? I never carried. I'm sure you know that. I was contracted. I always wanted the freedom to walk away after I performed my task. I didn't need to swear allegiance to any secret organization to know I was doing the right thing. All right. Enough banter, Aspen. Let's cut to the chase. I am ordering you once again on behalf of the Demystification Board to cease all investigation into our operations. The only reason you still know anything is so that you can help keep Miranda and my useless former employee in check. I don't work for you. Oh, but you made a promise to the Eminence Doctor, and he's not a man to be trifled with. Just look at what being on my bad side gets you. Can you imagine the pain he'd put you through? Put her through. If you continue to disobey. I've really had it with you. Aspen, I'll ask you one more time. Keep in mind, it really would be a shame to get bloodstains on this beautiful area rug. You have wonderful taste, Lori. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, charming. Well, Aspen... What will it be? And you know, we really do have eyes everywhere. Fine. I'll stop. Anything else before you get the fuck out of my house? <sighs> yes. What did you do with Dinah? What? You killed her. Mm, I thought so. But it appears that's not entirely what happened. And I do take pride in a job well done. I need to tie up loose ends. And you know where she is. I can't. Oh, I see. Well, Lori, how do you feel about all of this? Get your no, hands please. off me. Get away from her. Put it down. Your wife seems awfully loyal to her little angel friend. She'd just do anything for Dinah while you sit here with a gun to your head and a stranger's arm around your throat. Has Aspen ever stood up for you like this? Aren't you jealous? Penny, don't tell her anything. Why do you even care so much? Why do you have it out against Anima? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I'm just doing my job. You both understand that. Two professional women like yourselves. <gasps> You're hell-bent on destroying them, and I don't think that's part of your mission. Is it? Is it? You're with her. <sighs> that's not part of what you're here to do. Why are you helping her? This can't be in the scope of what you were assigned to do when you were sworn into that board. I don't believe that for a second. Dinah told me she was supposed to help you, and Carol made an enemy out of her and her brother. That's the only reason she turned on you. Oh, so you admit that Dinah's a traitor. Uh, not as much as you are. She trusted you. And so did Zephan. And you killed both of them. So why should I trust you now? You don't have a choice, Aspen. It's Dinah, or your wife. Huh. I'm not leaving until you give me that little monstrous location. Five. <sighs> four. I can't. Three. Please. All I can say is... Oh, God. 
she's not the only one who'd be in danger if I tell you. <sighs> Very good. Penemu, are you listening? Does that confirm your suspicions? Yes, it seems we were right. Dinah is in a human body. And it's the very short list of people who would have been willing to let her in. Be a dear and go check on that, won't you? No! <laughs> Thank you. Fuck. Oh, don't worry. He's very quick. We'll have coordinates within a few minutes, I'm sure. And then you won't have to worry about Dinah anymore. You won't have to worry about any of it anymore. Miranda is doing just fine. Her former neighbor is thriving. There are just a few of you who need to be reset. We'll take care of this one loose end, and then everything will be as it should. Then will you get your claws off my wife? <sighs> oh, of course. So sorry. <laughs> Annex, would you do the honors? Uh, Lori, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have gotten into this in the first place. I'm so sorry. How did she even get you? So sue me for falling asleep in front of the television. <sighs> ben, they're really not going to find her, are they? I don't know. Really? Hmm. An address would have been nice, Penemu, but I suppose that's precise enough what? for now. No, no, no! Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, Penny. No, shit! Penix, why don't you take these two to a secure location? We don't want them tipping anyone off. It looks like we have a flight to catch. You made that all so easy, Aspen. Thank you for your cooperation. sure how to hold the telephone. Is everything all right? The emergency pager made a sound, so I came out here to the... I came out here to the other building to make the call. It is good to hear your voice. Is your... Um, are they there? Uh, no, but they will be back soon. Is something wrong? Do you have bags packed? Yes. Always. <sighs> it's time to go. Aspen didn't change out the dead drop today, and her car's in the driveway, but no one answered the phone. You two have to run. Oh. Understood. Do you think Aspen is all right? I'm working on it. I can't say much more. You know why. Okay. Thank you. I will hang up the phone now. Why would you do that, Dinah? <gasps> the fun's just beginning. <laughs> <laughs>